It has been terrible. Every time I'm with my mother, my mother, she doesn't even know me sometimes because she has deteriorated so much in, in the last months due to lack of a family. I mean, she actually has forgotten some of her family. Um, they're never mentioned because we don't be in together. She doesn't see us as a family group. You know, she sees us individuals, so it's hard to, for her to look at us for her family. And and what age is your mother? The mother's 90. And how long has she been in the care home? She's been in the care home about four years. How do you view the future ahead? What's your feelings on it? I'm frightened for the future ahead because what I do see at the moment is the staffing levels are just atrocious. And I mean, where are we going to go from there? Why are you here today, Martina? Bren, I'm here today along with many families um, because we feel that the visiting pathway has been rolled out in care homes and care settings too slowly. We feel the care partner guidance, it's been in place for a year and a couple of months now. It is out of date. We need to see that all care partners, um, all immediate families, sorry, in, need to be care partners now. Uh, the government guidance only allows up to two care partners. We all know that care partners are a risk assessed. It's a risk managed approach. It works well for families and their, their loved ones in care homes and care settings. And we need to see that change now. Well, what's the situation like at the moment then? Some families are happy enough with their visiting arrangements, but there are other families that are very much restricted. So one of my friends here today, he is doubly vaccinated. His father is doubly vaccinated. His father has contracted COVID in the care home. He is only allowed into his father's care home, into his father's bedroom for three one hour visits a week. And I find that absolutely appalling. He is not putting his father at any additional risk than any staff moving in and out of that care home.